have 148 today. A little short. Good morning, church. Good morning. Praise the Lord. This is a day to uh, celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, district conference will be today at 2.30 over at Paradise United Methodist. If anybody here, we still have some openings for uh, lay equalization delegates from the Collinsville District. So if you would be interested in going to annual conference this year as a lay equalization delegate for the Collinsville District, please let me know so that I can nominate you today at the district conference. Uh, today is the last day to order the carnations, also the last day to make reservations for the mother-daughter banquet. Uh, Monday, the concert meeting 10, 10 and 5. Uh, Wednesday is our Bible studies at 9 and 6.30. It's also tea time, 11 and 1 o'clock. 11 to 1 o'clock. Uh, the chance for choir is Thursday. Next Saturday is kind of a busy Saturday in the community because it's going to be the community uh, yard sales and such, but in Otterbite have a rummage sale over there from 8 to 2. And also let you know that the Boy Scouts are selling uh, food items there. So if you want to help out the Boy Scouts, you can go over there uh, at Otterbite next, next Saturday. It's also a Saturday morning special here at the church. Uh, Sunday, um, we're having a Cinco de Mayo. Uh, I think the tickets are 10 and 5. Uh, if you can see that or anyone else if you want to, pretty much she's got tickets. Um, Mexican food, that's basically it. Because we're all really connected with our Mexican heritage here. <laughs> anyway, but it's a wonderful way. It's a day. Well, we May 5th. May 5th. <laughs> Actually, it's easy to remember because that's what Cinco de Mayo means. Cinco, five de Mayo, fifth of May, uh, come and from four, from four to seven, have a taco, and enjoy, enjoy the uh, fellowship. I think there's more than tacos. Anyway, any other announcements for the good of the church this morning? Oh, graduates, if anybody uh, knows any graduate information, we need to have that so that we can uh, get ready for that. time on there. the time for the graduation? Yeah, well, it says nine, and I had somebody asking. It should be regular service. Regular worship service. This, this, is, this is printed off for, for honor by just in the nature. So the time is 1045 for our service. So. I have a, I have a pastor speaker. Go ahead, Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to tell everybody um, thank you for supporting our youth yesterday for the pancake and sausage dinner. We sold out. Um, we actually had to quit early because we ran out of food. So that's a good thing. Um, the kids were great, and Michelle was such a, a help to me and the kids. And I just wanted to thank you all for always supporting our youth. Um, they're an important part of our church. They're the future. And I hope you'll always stand not only behind them, but beside them. Thank you. And for Sherry. For Sherry does come all the way Uh, one other little item uh, today, announcements are being made at Pleasant Hill as well as uh, Calvary United Methodist. They are they will receive a new pastor uh, July 1st. His name is Jerry Pinrod. He has a wife, Tabitha. They have four children, uh, nine, two four-year-olds, and a newborn. So, uh, that's going to be exciting to see this family come in, and they'll be serving up there starting 1st of July at part of our co-op. And so as part of our co-op, they will be using the Otterbein Parsonage uh, to stay. And so folks from Otterbein, Ops, Swan Drive, are excited to have a family in the day. So any other announcements? Let's begin our worship service this morning with a great important delay. Thank you.
to stand together and sing our opening hymn this morning, All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name. 154.
27 through 32. If you're following along in the Pew Bible, that's on page 123. When they had brought them, they had them stand before the council. The high priest questioned them, saying, We gave you strict orders not to teach in this name. Yet here you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching, and you are determined to bring this man's blood on us. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than any human authority. The God of our ancestors raised up Jesus, whom you had killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior, that he might give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are witnesses to these things. And so it is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. The children would like to come up for today's message.